Einmal standen Roy Bates und Sohn Michael vor Gericht. Sie sollen ein Marineboot beschossen haben. Das Urteil der englischen Richter nicht zuständig für Gewässer außerhalb Englands. Seitdem herrscht Waffenstillstand zwischen dem Fürstentum und dem Vereinigten Königreich. Man duldet sich. Jeder macht seins. If you want to be a country, you have to act like a country, which is why you have visas to visit Sealand, and, and that's why we have stamps, passports, coins, and all the paraphernalia that go with it. And, and uh, uh, we do um, balance of trade uh, figures every year. We do um, anything to do with anything like that is, is you know, is documented and done properly. You have to act if you want to be a country. You have to act like one. These are Sealand stamps. These are modern, up-to-date ones. The original ones, the first issue of stamps, were these ones that were flown by helicopter direct to Belgium. Uh, these are sea lane coins, uh, silver and gold. And there's pictures of uh, my father on that one, my mother on that one. We had a lot of... Um, Fake sea land parcels were issued by some very dubious people, nothing to do with us. So we did stop issuing passports for a while. Der Verkauf der Marken, Münzen und Sealand Souvenirs ist eine Haupteinnahmequelle der Fürstenfamilie. This is a title pack. Um, our supporters write in and, and they purchase uh, lordships and barons. And uh, I believe we're, we're going to start a seat at the Sealand University and do doctorates very soon. But I think Sealand represents freedom, and we, we have a huge amount of, of email on the, the people wanting to get involved and appreciating the freedom side of it. It, it rings a lot of bells for a lot of people around the world. I think people have to have their own take on it. I mean, it is serious. We don't, well, right, we don't walk around with crowns on our heads and stuff, but it's, we still take it very seriously. It's something that my grandpa felt very passionately about. And... Sealand bleibt Sealand. Eine windkraftbetriebene Utopie mit eigener Hymne und Sympathie für ihre Nachbarn. Sealand actually was built for uh, protecting the uh, British Isles and we're still we're still very patriotic and you know, I still I still feel very English as well as you know obviously very patriotic to be a Sealander as well but yeah definitely I have obviously strong feelings towards Sealand, but England's my country, this is where I live, this is where I work. I sort of die for Queen if I had to, but no. Wirtschaftlich gesehen ist Sealand ein Zuschussgeschäft. Die fürstliche Familie hat seit Jahren eine Lizenz zum Muschelfischen. Mit zwei Schiffen laufen sie aus. Von Juni bis Oktober ist Fangzeit. Go 
I got to use this boat for one season. Then the boys nudge me out of the way like that and say, let's have a go, Dad. And then they've, they've not they've really let me near it since, which is fine, which is nice, but they've, it's a lovely thing to use for. It's the Charlotte Joan, and my daughter's name is Charlotte, Princess Charlotte, of course. And Princess Joan, my mother, Charlotte Joan. I named it after two very nice women. Special women in my life, man. Prinzessin Charlotte, eine der beiden besonderen Frauen, hat sich ein anderes Geschäftsfeld gesucht. Sie betreibt in ihrer Heimatstadt Lyon C einen Hundefriseursalon. Weil Sealand keinen eigenen Schönheitswettbewerb veranstaltet, bewarb sich Charlotte in England und wurde Vize Miss South End on Sea. Ihr Herz schlägt weiterhin für Sealand. Yeah, it was amazing when I first went out there, because my brothers always used to go out, and I used to get very jealous, obviously, because they'd go out for little adventures and obviously go and stay out there with my dad. And then, yeah, I used to get there. I used to really want to go, but I wasn't allowed because I was only little, so. My family have always made a living from the sea. My grandfather was a fisherman, my dad, now me and my brother have both taken over the fishing business because we, we have to generate our own revenue to keep it running. It's not a cheap practice to have sea land. I think people just think, oh, it's a fort in the middle of nowhere, but we have to supply the electricity, we have to put fresh water out there. It's, there is a very much sort of a strong sense of, sort of, that's you, you have to look after it yourself. No one's going to do it for you. Whereas, sort of in England, you have the police that look after you, and if something goes wrong, you go to the doctors. Out there, you're on your own. 1978 plant Roy Bates mit deutschen und holländischen Partnern ein Spielcasino auf Sealand zu errichten. These were people that um, my father had meetings with in Germany and in Holland, and they'd raise money for Leisure Island. And I think having got all the money together, they did what Germans do sometimes and decided to just march in. They decided why share it. That's a bit of a bad thing to say, and a bit of a racist thing. But no, they decided, uh, joking aside, they decided not to share the money. They thought, why, why share it with the Bates family? Sealand wird besetzt. I suppose these days you'd call them terrorists because they were armed and uninvited and, and came with ill will in their hearts. Um, I was out on Sealand on my own. I was locked up in here for four days, four nights, no food, no water. They smashed the bulletproof windows in with a sledgehammer, little bits of glass, and it's glass everywhere all over the floor. And there was a huge Sealand flag on the wall. And I wrapped myself up in it to go to sleep. I could hear them talking hysterically outside all the time. And I was, I took the hinges out the door and started to take the place to bits trying to get out, but there's no way out. My father was in Austria, so he, he didn't even know what was going on. Um, and I was worried that if he did find out, he'd come back and put his own life in danger trying to, trying to rescue me. And, um, and I couldn't do anything. I was absolutely helpless. I was locked in here, couldn't get out. And uh, I mean, for all I knew, they might go away and leave, leave the place and leave me locked in the room to just die away. I could probably do with that these days, lose a bit of weight, but at the time it wasn't the way forward. <laughs> okay. Right. Roy Bates versteht diese Aktion gegen Sealand und seinen Sohn als Kriegserklärung. Per Hubschraubereinsatz schlägt er zurück. Mit einem Piloten, der auch Stunts in James Bond Filmen geflogen hat. You see, Sealand has been established, and I have legal opinions from all over the world, international lawyers' legal opinions. Sealand is here to stay. Die damals Verjagten behaupten seitdem, die Exilregierung von Sealand zu sein, mit Sitz in Deutschland und der Schweiz. 
Verlinkt sind sie unter anderem mit der sogenannten Reichsregierung des Deutschen Reiches. They have a huge website and, and they talk about mad things like cruel power, whatever that is, and they talk about it's a very fascist and Nazi sort of uh, it seems website. And bearing in mind that these fortresses were put in place by the British government originally to defend Britain from from Nazism and fascism, and and now these, these fascists and Nazis are claiming to be part of Sweden. And it's not the case. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. Im Jahr 2000 beginnt Michael Bates damit, Sealand als Standort für Internetserver zu etablieren. Der Versuch scheitert. When I got involved with um, the American consortium that, that ran Haven Co., which was a, a data haven, and they were libertarians. They talked about freedom all the time. But then you had people wanting to put a server up on Sealand or with Haven Co. that were pedophiles. You had another guy that wanted to um, sell, uh, have an international organ auction, you know, like body parts, you know? And that, I mean, the paedophile thing, obviously, right out the window. The organ donor thing, you think, well, maybe there's a, th maybe there's a, there's a place for that. And then you think a little bit further and you hear about the execution rates going up in China where, where they sell the body parts and things like that. And you think, ooh, don't really want to get involved with that. You know, you have to have certain... Levels of um, where, where you say no, that's enough, you know? Auch der schwedischen Internettauschbörse Pirate Bay gab Michael Bates einen Korb, wegen deren Verletzung von Urheberrechten. So sind sie weiter auf der Suche nach einer Geschäftsidee. Im Gespräch ein Spielcasino, ein Hotel sowie der Anbau von Nachbarplattformen. Oh, my dad, no, never, never, no. no. If he had no money, he wouldn't give it up. He, he wouldn't, for no reason would he ever give it up. No, 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 no. I mean, I've known my father have his hands all bandaged up from when he had operations on his hands and he couldn't, couldn't move them. And he still come out here and, and uh, come out the boat and managed to get in the hoist and get up on these. Oh. shame to get rid of it. I mean, it's, it's part of my history, my family's history over, over three generations now, and I'd like to see it go on to my children and their children after that, you know? It's a great thing to have in your heritage, for sure.